This informative video will show you how to set up your chair speaker to your TV. Let us look at the different type of audio outputs that can be used on your TV. First, let's look at digital optical audio out. On some devices, it is labeled as SPDIF or TOSLINK. There will be a red laser while the TV is broadcasting. This port is frequently used for smart TV systems. Some systems will have a flap like this and some will have a square pin like this that needs to be removed. The next type of audio out is RCA output. There are many pairs of red and white RCA jacks on the back of some TVs. What we need to find must be a red and white labeled as audio out, output, variable out, line out, or AV out. At the rear of cable and satellite boxes, the RCA and optical ports are outputs and may not be clearly labeled. These ports may work. Any RCA ports labeled as component in, AV in, video in, video out, or audio in will not work. 3.5 millimeter audio. On some devices, the 3.5 millimeter audio is marked with a headphone icon or labeled audio out. Using this port may disable the TV speakers. Digital coaxial audio out. On some devices, it is labeled as SPDIF and is seldomly used. If your TV, cable, or satellite box only has this port available, you will need to buy a digital-to-analog converter for installation. HDMI analog converter on devices that only have HDMI out, you may need to buy an HDMI converter. If you enjoy TV programs from multiple AV sources, such as cable box, DVD, as well as streaming media, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, etc., then it is best to hook up your chair speaker transmitter unit to the TV's audio output directly. If you only enjoy TV programs from one fixed AV device, such as cable box or Blu-ray disc player, etc., you can set up your chair speaker transmitter unit to the related AV device. If possible, hooking to the TV directly is the best option. Adjusting your TV settings in the settings menu. We will now discuss some of the changes that may have to be made in the TV menu. You may find it helpful to have your TV manual available to read. If you do not have your TV manual, you can look on the back of your TV and find the model number and do a search on the internet for your model number and manual. First setting to check is the sound output or speaker output options on your TV setting menu. Some TVs do not have this. If your TV only has single sound out available, you will need to choose external speaker to work with an external audio device. But the TV's internal speakers will become disabled once you choose external speakers as your TV's audio output. This is a TV's feature and its availability depends on your TV's design. Note, if you would like to enjoy TV programs with your family together, you will need to buy some external speakers and corresponding cable splitter. After finding the right connection on the back of your TV and setting up the proper output from your TV menu, there is one final setting that needs to be checked. Checking your audio format setting. For setting up with digital optical audio output of your TV or AV device, make sure your TV is set to PCM audio format. Using your original TV remote, press Menu, or if you have a smart remote, access the home screen. Then, Settings, Sound, Expert Settings, Audio Format. Then select PCM. Note, setting menu depends on different TVs. Please refer to your TV manual for details to set your audio to PCM. Connecting. Choosing your cable to hook the chair speakers to your TV's digital optical connection, as well as analog RCA and 3.5 millimeters connection. Two different audio cables included. Digital optical cable for a digital connection, RCA and 3.5 millimeters cable for analog connections. In the end, only one of these cables is needed to complete the installation. If your TV has only one optical audio output, which is occupied by a sound bar, you have to buy an optical splitter for installation. Or if you only watch TV programs from one fixed AV device, such as cable box or a Blu-ray disc player, you can also set up your chair speaker unit to that AV. Plug the transmitter into the wall and TV. Look for a green light on the back of the transmitter. 
Hook up the proper cord from the transmitter to the TV. Point the transmitter at the chair speakers. The signal must be line of sight. Wrap the chair speakers on the chair. Plug the chair power supply into the wall. Rotate the volume knob to halfway on. Check for green light at the power cord entrance. Turn the TV on. Now you should have audio. Adjusting the voice enhancement. Try each setting to see what voice enhancing setting works best for you.